From reflections to beautiful waters and even sun rays, this video has it all. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the top 10 best MCPE shaders of all time for 1.16.200. All the downloads can be found in the description down below with the timestamp that I showcase each shader. And without further ado, let's head on to the number 10 spot. On the number 10 spot, we have the RUSPE shaders right over here, version 1.7.01. Once again, the downloads can be found in the description down below. And what I really like about this shader in particular is the player shadow. Take a look at that player shadow right over there, already off to an amazing start. And basically, like the gist of all of these shaders is that they make the colors far more brighter and they make the shadows far more different. All right, guys, if we actually set the time to sunset just like so, you will notice that we have one of the most beautiful sunsets ever with full on sun rays, which is honestly really cool in my opinion take a look at that sun ray right up there it is absolutely amazing and that's why I, I just had to include this shader in today's video is because of how beautiful the sun rays are but take a look at that guys that is one of the most beautiful sunsets ever with a full on sun rays that look absolutely incredible but that is not all believe it or not this shader actually comes with some reflections as well as you can see like the sun over there it actually does reflect on there and let's actually take a look at the water right over here because believe it or not we have one of the most beautiful looking waters out there there with the sun right over here reflecting on the amazing water but anyways let's actually go underwater and we'll see how things look like all right pretty cool pretty cool there. but anyways guys that is too much it for the number 10 spot let's head on to the number nine spot so you have the yss b 1.11.16 shader right over here now i do warn you this shader is incredibly laggy but definitely has one of the best waters out there take a look at this pond right over here as you can tell it looks absolutely phenomenal and of course we even do get reflections in this shader as well as you can see from the sun right over there but uh yeah this here definitely has to be one of my favorite shaders out there look but uh yeah fair warning if you go near like any type of body of water with this shader expect a lot of lag like i'm experiencing right now and no guys i was not joking about the reflections either look over there as you can tell we actually do have the reflection of the sun which is honestly super duper cool and i just had to include this shader for this amazing reflection right over here and you know what i just feel like it really does deserve a spot in today's video but this is how everything looks like in general pretty cool if i do say so myself but anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number nine spot let's hit on to the number eight spot number eight spot we have a more chill shader one that will not completely explode your phone and that is the kgpe shader right over here let me just show you guys what it has to offer so like i said this is like more for lower end devices meaning that you don't need the best device in order to run the shader it should work on any device really but uh yeah first off take a look at how things look like this looks really good for a low end device shader as well of course we have nice and defined shadows right over here and of course we do have pretty nice looking water over here let's actually go underwater right now just to see how things look like they look pretty good to be honest uh, i'm pretty sure it's like this almost the same as the regular minecraft but i mean hey you can't complain um of course they did make the water simpler so like it doesn't lag your game at all all right but this is how the sunset looks like it looks absolutely beautiful guys and uh, this is how a cave it looks like pretty good in my opinion as you could tell the lighting is super duper smooth and i just love the way this shader looks like but oh uh, yeah guys that is pretty much it for the number eight spot let's head on to the number seven spot the number seven spot we have the natural mystic shader right over here and let me just show you guys how it looks like oh take a look at the baby cat over there so adorable but <laughs> i know a little bit off topic but um yeah this shader definitely has once again one of the most uh, nicest waters out there take a look at this amazing water over there especially that view right over there what's really cool is that it doesn't completely like explode your phone like the other shader that i showcased earlier with cool waters but let's actually go underwater right now uh, and see how things look like they look Look pretty good to be honest um nothing really to complain about but anyways guys now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to set this a bad boy to a sunset all right we put it in sunset and bam guys that is how the sunset looks like it looks really good in my opinion i really love the way it looks like and let's actually you know fly up a little bit just to see how the water looks like and the water looks absolutely phenomenal and of course let's actually go in our little cave right over here and we're going to see how the lighting looks like so the lighting you know it looks pretty good to be honest however i must say this about shade if you plan on like playing survival with shaders then i highly recommend that you bring multiple torches because they're probably gonna lead a lot more than you normally would but oh uh, yeah it just looks absolutely amazing take a look at the water up close over here it is super wavy and i just think it looks really good i don't think this is a low end shader i think it's like a medium so yeah definitely is one of the best shaders out there but anyways guys that is pretty much it for the number seven spot let's head on to the number six spot on the number six spot we have the capricorn pe shaders right over here with uh 
around two megabytes worth of storage. And what I really like about this shader in particular is that they make the colors very, very bright, which I know some of you guys really like that and some of you guys don't. So if you do like bright shaders, then this shader is definitely the one for you. As you can tell, the green is like super duper bright. And uh, as you can tell, the lighting as well is very bright. And let's actually go into this cave right over here just to show you guys how bright the lighting truly. And of course, incredibly dark shadows, bro. I can barely see anything over here. But uh, yeah, this is how the water looks like. And this is also another low end, uh, you know, device shader, meaning that you can basically run it on every single device. Shadows are far more to find. They are way darker than most of the other shaders in uh, this list. But anyways, let's actually go underwater right now. And this is how things uh, look like. They look really cool in my opinion. I absolutely love the way it looks like. Oh, look, there's a turtle right there. Hello, turtle. There is the beautiful sunset. It looks absolutely incredible with, of course, the nice realistic clouds in the background as well and the nice bright sun with the lights reflecting on the water as well. That is definitely a good sight. And yo, if you actually stand still enough, you'll actually notice that the clouds move on their own, which is just really cool to be honest. You know, it's not just a picture. It actually does move, which is, of course, pretty cool in my opinion. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the number six spot. Let's head on to the number five spot. Number five spot, we have the OSC shaders version 1.2 right over here and bam guys take a look at how this shader looks like as you can tell the colors are actually far more darker than i thought they would be which is honestly you know pretty good I really just love how everything looks like super dark to be honest like it's not one of those uh, bright shaders this one is like far more darker as you can tell the colors are not extremely saturated and i obviously really like that but let's actually take a look at the water right over there and as you can tell the water looks a little bit greenish uh bluish you know if that makes any sense and let's actually go underwater right now just to see how things look like and bam this is how the underwater looks like it looks really good in my opinion and i believe this water even does like have little waves to it as well let's actually go under right over here and let's see like how things look like in this cave right so it definitely is one of the best shaders out there but anyways guys that is much it for the number five spot let's head on to the number four spot on the number four spot, we have the TSPE shader medium right over here. Now, I would have put this shader higher up in the list. However, I reviewed it multiple times before, and I don't want to put it in number one again. However, I still do feel like it deserves a spot on this list. Look, whenever we walk in the game, the player shadow moves as well. But what's really cool about the shader is actually the underwater. So, bam, guys, this is how things look like on the underwater. And it just looks so beautiful, in my opinion. Just take a look at that. As you can tell, things are distorted to you know just make things look far more realistic and i just love the way it looks like but anyways let's actually turn this uh, bad boy to sunset right now now i must warn you this shader may lag your device a little bit guys so just please be aware of that but bam there is the beautiful sun right over there it looks really good in my opinion and eventually you will actually notice some sun rays. i'm not too sure if you guys can see it but bam guys this is one of those shaders that actually has amazing sun rays so that is why i had to include it in today's video and we have one of the most beautiful night skies ever Ever. we have like a little rainbow oh though it just faded away right now and just take a look at that guys we have stars everywhere we have like a shooting star all that good stuff i just love you know how the night sky looks like it looks really good in my opinion um like i said this would have been number one however i made like too many of these videos where i put this one in the number one spot and i just want to give another shader a chance but anyways guys that is much it for the number four spot let's head on to the number three spot for the number three spot we have the vert 1.3 quality shader right over here and like the name suggests, this shader definitely has some of the highest quality to it. It is actually like way more different compared uh, to some of the other shaders in this list. But I just love the way it looks like because it really just gives me a summer vibe for some reason. Probably because everything looks like a little bit yellowish, if that makes any sense. But hey, I'm not complaining at all. And let's actually go underwater right over here just to see how things look like. Yo, things look really cool in my opinion. Um, it looks really green under here, which is unique. I really like that, to be honest. The cave, as you can tell, these shadows are far more defined and of course it makes you know all the colors just far more brighter so i absolutely love that and yo that is how the lava looks like the lava looks really bright honestly and yo there's a full-on ravine over here oh my god with a mine shaft in it as well okay i did not know this i actually did not notice and it was in the village the whole time yo i gotta open my eyes more often to be honest but uh yeah guys as you can tell this shader is really good in my opinion i just love the way it looks like but anyways guys that's pretty much it for the number three spot let's head on to the number two spot 
right. On the number two spot, we have the ES TN shaders right over here. Now, this is definitely on the list for a very good reason, and that is because it has one of the best sun rays out there. Before we actually go take a look at that. Let's actually go underwater and see how things look like. As you can tell, the underwater looks absolutely phenomenal. Take a look at the water over there, and I just really like how the clouds are actually like 3D ish, and I also really like just how saturated and how bright this uh, shader makes all the colors appear. Damn, guys, you will notice that we have one of the best looking sun rays in MCPE. Take a look at that, guys, on the sun right over there. You can see that these sun rays are very strong. Like, you can't miss it. You can't miss those sun rays. And I just absolutely love it whenever a shader does include, uh, you know, sun rays or god rays. I'm pretty sure, like, that's another way to actually say sun rays. Either one is okay. Take a look at that, guys. It looks absolutely amazing. And I just really like how you can see the sun rays 100% for sure. There's even some stars that keep appearing, like, slowly as, of course, the sun does set down, which is honestly pretty cool in my opinion. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the number two spot. Let's head on to the number one and best MCPE shader of all time. Uh, we have the ISPE X Gen High version 2.0 right over here. Now, this is number one for a reason, guys. As you can tell, it is currently nighttime, and there's even some raindrop animations right over here. So, coincidentally, it just started raining all of a sudden, and uh, this is how things look like. Pretty cool, in my opinion. And let's actually go to this river right over here. And what I really like about this shader in particular is uh, the water, hands down. Another one of the coolest waters ever. If we actually go underwater, though, it looks even better. Take a look at all of this, guys. It looks absolutely phenomenal. We even have the distortion effect on the block in our hand, too, which I think is very cool. That's like a little detail that most shaders tend to forget. But this one does, and this one goes all out. And over here, we have some, you know, beautiful skies right over here. Very realistic, in my opinion. And uh, look, guys, this is how the water looks like you know a bigger body of water you know it's bigger than that small river and it looks really good in my opinion take a look at this right over here and though i must warn you this shader can definitely get a little bit laggy but uh anyways this shader also comes with sun rays as well right guys but we can finally see the sun rays now i'm not too sure if you guys can actually notice it but look there is full-on sun rays over there and look this here is definitely one of the most beautiful sunsets ever take a look at that guys the light is reflecting on the water and slowly stars are starting to pop up in the sky and this is just so beautiful in my opinion i absolutely love it definitely is one of the best shaders guys because of course it actually does come with reflections it also comes with nice realistic rains and it also comes with sun rays it literally has everything you could ask for anyways guys that is pretty much it for today's video once again all the downloads can be found in the description down below with the timestamp that i showcase each shader thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe see you later french fries <laughs>